Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm just journaling. Well, actually, I'm just sitting here talking to myself, trying to figure something out, so maybe you can help me, so come on along. I want to do a Angel Kitty page in my Kitty Boho book, and this one is for the father and brother of my little TT kitty. This is her father and this is her brother. And they have both passed away. They've both gone over the rainbow bridge. And I just wanted to do a little page in here with their picture. And I was thinking about doing angel kitties. Oh, and before, let me show you this. So on the day that the dad died, his name was Bradley. This is her brother, um, Milo. And she's the one, you always see the little feet over here because she's up on the desk where you see her tail go by or you see little feet, and then she climbs up on my shoulder and I yell, ouch. Well, anyway, the day that Bradley died, when my sister came out of the vet's office, this rainbow went across the whole sky. And that's the day he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. So I have these two pictures because she took a picture of that. And this is from a few months before he passed away. And I was going to make an angel and I just cut out his face and I cut out some gold and I got some butterfly wings. And I got a little piece of lace and I just wasn't loving it. Just not loving it. I'd stand there. Stay there, stand there, stay there, stay there. Oh, this is my giant Christmas in July book from last year that is huge. And I did a Christmas angel. And this is the one I'm talking about. That's her father and her brother. These Abyssinians, they always have this look on their face. My goodness. And I made these cute little angel dresses with lace and material and butterfly wings and pearls. And I did one for Stinky Winky Woos. And her says, Peace. And they have their little halos and their butterfly wings. And this was for when Joey, who is my step-daughter-in-law's kitty, passed away. I did these two little angels. Well, these two cats are still alive, but this one's passed away. And she's gotten a new kitten, and I need to journal about that. Anyway, so I was thinking of these. But these are girl kitties. Let me get this out of the way. Back on the shelf. On the back. That's too big. No place to put it. I'll put it on the floor. I'll trip over it. And these are boy kitties. So I'm like, uh... I don't know. I just it just didn't strike me as anything. I don't know. So then I got out some darker paper, some darker blue, and some darker blue wings. Here's one. I was going crazy here. I was throwing everything all over the table. And I went something like this. And then I didn't like that either. And so then I got out this paper. And I tried it on this paper. And I didn't like that. So then I cut some blue to put behind this. Give him a little bit of a neck there. And... At this point, I went outside. Well, when I was working on the other pieces, it was early in the morning, it was dark, it was cool, it was raining, and I figured, oh, I'm going to sit here and get this page done today. But it just, I don't know, things weren't happening. I just didn't like this. And then I had gotten these rainbows at the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to put them on the page. And then I had these ink tense pencil still on the table from doing my just because slow stitch book and I thought well maybe I'll, I'll ink up a rainbow and I'll put that on the page 
or I'll use the gemstones. And it stopped raining and the sun came out and I went outside. So now I'm back. And while I was away from the table, I got a different idea. To use these little kitties now. The dad is like a little fawn color, like tan. So I can use the little tan one down here. And the brother is like a, um, a reddish color. So I could use the pink one here. And I can give them little wings. These are stickers from the Dollar Tree. And they're boys, so I give them I can give them some blue wings. And I can keep this heart paper. And I could or put it on this. So I'm thinking now doing a double spread. These pages aren't very wide. And I could put their picture and the rainbow bridge on one side. And I don't know, I, maybe I can take some of the gems and do a bridge or do something with a bridge in the background. And then leave a little space for journaling. So, I don't think the pink one is too girly. But that's his color. He's his uh, reddish color. And the other one's a tannish color. So I took the little squares off the back. I can cut some wings here or just paste it underneath. All right, so these wings, before I lose them, I'm going to put those back. This is too big. This is the pack of butterfly die cuts from the Dollar Tree. I wish I had bought more. Okay, let's see. That's the same. Oh, that's this is this one here. I think these are too big. Or not. I don't know. These have little gold accents like the kitties, and this one also has a pink. This is the right way. Pink little spot on the bottom. So it's upside down. Let me find one that looks like that. Okay, so yeah, the pink go on the bottom. Here's, there's the head. And then this one can have a different wing. Um, 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 um. This one's kind of a little bit from the side. I could do dark blue. I have a lot of these dark blue ones. Oh, this is nice because this has a gold on it too. And that goes with the kitty. So on this side, this will be one page, and I'll just put um, you're banging at the door. I'm talking, so you know that they were, both cats were sound asleep in the other room, not moving. As soon as I sit down and start talking, bingo, they are here. Kind of like the light blue. Kind of like that one. Oh, look at all these polka dotted ones. Three, four, 
five of those. Too big, too small. Okay. So that's going to be one side. And I'll glue these down. Oh, halos, halos, halos. Let's make them some halos. I have this gold foil paper. It came in a Christmas pack. Um, that's my hole punch. Let's see, here's a one inch. Here's a little bit bigger one. It was like red, green, gold, and plaid. And where'd the other circle go? I don't know. So, oops. But you know, you see this stuff on sale after Christmas. Should go ahead and buy it because you know green you can use any time, gold you can use any time, red Valentine's Day. So he needs one too. And they match their little gold spots. And he's got hearts and the background's got hearts. And they're boys, so they have blue butterfly wings. And I don't know. How am I going to put them on here? Should they be on clouds? Sitting on little clouds? Hmm. Stand by. Okay, I'm thinking about something like this. I switched... Milo's wings out for some smaller ones. These were the ones I had on there. And these are blue. I like the colors with the background and they have some gold on them. And I made a little cloud out of this felt that has some sparkle in it. I thought that was pretty sparkly felt. And I cut the little feet so the feet can be on the cloud and then for uh, Bradley, I did the same thing. Gave him some little, littler wings. Cut the feet. Now I'm thinking I want to put their names on there. And I'm thinking that I want to put a little gray on the bottom of the cloud. And I do have a wash, a light wash. This is a water soluble sketching pencil by Derwent. And so you can just put a little gray on there. And then under this mess, somewhere, oh, there it is, I have a brush and I have some water. And I'm just going to wet it a little bit. I don't want it too dark. Just a little definition the bottom of the cloud. I know I'm doing it upside down, but that's the bottom of the cloud like that. Okay, I'll have to let that dry before I put it on the paper. So I will just go ahead and do this one. Oh, I didn't get up and let the cat inch back. Right, I'm just going to finish this because then I got to let this dry anyway and I could start working on the an idea for the other page while these dry. I have the ink tense pencils on the table too, but they might be too much. I don't 
want it that dark. Okay, there's my clouds. I'm going to let those dry. Well, I've got everything... Oops. <laughs> it's always an oops. Everything glued down on the page. I love these little kitty angels with the butterfly wings sitting on their sparkly clouds. And to finish off the page, I put this satin ribbon with the kitties. Now, this is from the Dollar Tree. And it's like kitty heaven with these kitties and all these little fish treats. And you'll find this in the floral garden department. You know, some of their nice satin ribbons are not in crafting. They're over in the floral department. And then, you know, I found these stickers at the bottom of the drawer. And I must have bought these like 25 years ago when I thought I could do some scrapbooking. And scrapbooking lasted all of three pages. And then I didn't do any more. So here I am going into my third year, I think, of junk journaling. And have no intentions of stopping anytime soon. So where scrapbooking did not work out, junk journaling is just perfect for me. Anyway, I took these letters and these I don't know where they're from but they're making memories 7 16 inch funky black probably from AC Moore or Michaels or somewhere and now I am very satisfied with my kitty angel page after all that turmoil on what to do what to do okay now I'm working on the other page the rainbow page and that's going to go right here. And I'm using this dusty blue, kind of going with the dusty blues in the background there. And what I did was I took this old, old protractor. Is this a protractor? I think so. Um, that belongs to Mr. Possum. Wow, it even has his initials stamped into it. Hmm. All right, he said, be careful, don't lose it. And I just took the heart paper and I stuck that in the corner and I went like that a couple times, cut out some strips in the arch. And I'm gonna put these across the page somehow. And maybe put the rainbow at the end of the rainbow there and put the kitties up here. Now their name is on the other page. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put rest in peace. But you know, I can't stop there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a backing on these. I might go with this darker blue for a contrast. And there's a lot of extra space on this picture. So I'm just going to cut that off, crop it. I'm going to crop the photo here. Oops, come on, come on. Like that. Now that's better, that's better. And that's the same color, so we're going to go with this. And let's see. Do I want square corners on this or round corners? I don't know. So if I have a dark piece of paper, I use a white pencil to mark about there. And how far down? About there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not worried about it. Well, let's cut it this way first. Okay. 
Okay, now here's the hard part. Getting it even. Sometimes I stick the picture down first and then try to trim it up even. Sometimes I cut it and then try to get it in the middle. Good enough. Good enough, good enough, good enough. Well, because I have all these curves here in the rainbow, I might just leave straight corners on that. And I guess I'll do the same thing with this now. I'm just going to go this way. All right, this is too big. So, about like that. It's going to get cut about like that. Notice I'm not measuring anything. Rainbow kitties. So sad when you lose a pet after so many years. Okay, the ones not leading to the photo are going to go off the page. And the shorter ones... Probably go under the photo. Disappear under the photo. Have another one. Let's see. Oh, I was going to put this a little higher up. I could put that on the edge. All right, I got to work this out now. I'm thinking. Do I want to add some rainbow colors? And how would I do that? I do have these stickers. I could add a couple dots in there. I do have these pencils on the table. So, oh, here's the other one. Two more of these. have my ink pens here. All right, gotta move some stuff. Will this work on here? I don't want to get it too wet. Let's see, another way of using watercolor pencils is piece of watercolor paper to let's see your first color is red 
do that on a piece of paper on the side or if you're doing it in a journal just mark the side of your journal take the brush use this like a little palette this is if you don't want a lot of color oh, try it on a scrap first and just do like this Looking to see if this paper is going to pill, pile, pile, pile. Does a little bit. Hmm. Or should I use regular color pencils? Or let's see if I put it right on here. And then just take a little water and do this. Do I like that? I like that. But how would that look on the page? Now let's come over here. I think that'd be fine. Okay. So now, red orange no yeah red orange yellow green blue purple red orange yellow green blue purple okay so first one's red these are duent ink tents pencils like a watercolor pencil but instead it has water soluble ink in it colors are very vibrant so I'm going to go along the edge with a dark line this. You gotta be careful when you're on the edge. Don't rip the paper. Well, I guess you could ink these if you got a lot of distress ink. Ink them in different colors with distress ink. I just thought of that. But the pencils are on the table from doing my Just Because book. Okay, now I don't want too much water. And just going to kind of wet it and bring it down. rinsing it in between because I don't want to get too much pigment so you get kind of dark. I did put more pencil down here but that's okay. Don't want it a solid color. See, now it's starting to pile there. Shouldn't have done that when it's wet. Try it a little bit. Okay, that looks fine. I get it all glued down. So now I just have to do, oh, keep these in order. Rainbow has a special order. Okay. So what I say next was orange. Red. 
Hmm. Was this the red? Poppy red. Okay, now there's an orange here somewhere. I thought I took out the orange, but maybe I didn't take out the orange. So we have orange. Red. No, we don't want hot red. We don't want cherry. Sienna gold. Let's see which one is more like orange. Brush, 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 brush. That's vermilion. That's sienna gold. See, all right, sienna gold is more like an orange that I want. So I'm going to go with that one. Sienna gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to all the strips. Just put some color along the edge. Be careful not to use too much water because it's thin paper, not meant for water. And also do not go back into a wet spot. So once it's wet, move on. Don't stay there. Oh, going back now. Don't go back. Okay. I have the rainbow all glued down. And the two pictures, and I said Milo and Brand Bradley, and I put Bradley's rainbow at the bottom with the date. And I decided to bring the ribbon over here, put rest in peace. And now I'm thinking about bringing over some of this gold and maybe a butterfly. So it's like I'm going to overdo this page. But that's okay. So I could put some little hearts here. Oh, I wanted to put one. I didn't like the way this piece of rainbow ended right there. So I'm going to put one right there. And I was going to put a big one down here. And probably something, something like that. Just to decorate up the page a little bit because I don't know. I guess you can never have too much stuff on the page, right? Well, let's start with the butterfly. Because we know that's going to go in the corner. And I decided to pick a different one. Almost went with that blue one. But I didn't like how the two the same were across from each other. And this one down here was different. So I found a different one, kind of a dusty blue. And I was going to put it right up here in the corner. And then I cut out these hearts with the big shot, the same uh, paper that I use for the halos. Just put that one up there. And a couple of these little ones. This gold paper is kind of like a craft paper on the background. And I can put a little one over here because I don't like the way this rainbow ends. Cover that up. Do this big heart. 
So I was just texting my sister, and she says, Oh, I miss those guys. I, like, oh, I felt so sad. Just making sure I had the right kitty pictures. So my cat still has one sister, Sweet Pea, and one brother. Still alive. And they are, uh, and his name is Spencer. Spencer looks like her, same color. Sweet Pea looks red like that one up there. It's very hard getting started on these pages. But now I am very happy. Finally got this done. Okay, I was just about to wrap it up and I got a little bit overwhelmed by all these gold hearts. So I added two on this page. Because, you know, if you're overwhelmed by something, add more, right? What sense does that make? Well, anyway. Then I got the idea, well, if I put these little paper hearts in the middle, then that might just tone it down a little bit. So let's see how this is going to look. Still going to be a lot of gold. I don't know. I just, I thought I would love it. And then it just overwhelmed me. So you might not like this, but what else could I do? They're already glued down. You don't like something, it's just paper and glue. Ooh, change it. I didn't cut these out very good, but It'll do. Okay, now do I feel better? Let me stand back and take a look. It is a very busy page, as most of my pages tend to be. But at least now I'm not totally overwhelmed with these giant... This gold is just so brilliant. i just like, oh my gosh. These gold hearts are just very very shiny okay well I think that toned it down a little bit okay now I'm happy now I'm gonna finish I've got my ribbon I've got my lettering I brought over the hearts and the rainbow I brought over the gold and the hearts which I went a little too crazy so I toned them down I've got my butterfly I got Bradley's rainbow down here rest in peace Bradley and Milo well, I think that's it. I think I'm good now. So I'm going to wrap it up. And I just want to thank you for coming along today. And wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. <laughs>